the autofill dates in Notion table calculates dates automatically based on the first day of the year and the start date assigned to this database. So let's look at the structure of this table and let's um, also create an example entry to see how the date is calculated and how to assign the properties in the most appropriate manner. All right, so there are two views here. There is a table view and there is also a calendar view. Now, on the table view, there are already a bunch of entries here. We can see that there is a title. This is the first column of Notion, which is the page that you can open to write whatever you would like to inside the page. There is a first day of year property. This is a date property and it is a backend property that is used to calculate the other formulas on this table. And because there is this filter applied, the first day of year property will always, always be January 1st for each new entry that you create. So this property can actually be hidden because we don't need it very much on this table. The second key property is the start date. And this start date is the beginning of the plan that you would like to lay out here because this template is uh, very suitable, in my opinion, to create a content calendar, for example, or you would like to create a plan that has got a specific duration, say 12 weeks, and the start date must be on a Monday. However. This is very important, and it is somehow a limitation of this system. The start date must be on a Monday. And it, it must be the same for each entry of this database. So once you decide what's your start date, you can add the filter here so that each new entry will be automatically assigned that start date. And the way you can add the filter is by clicking on filter, add filter. We'll do start date is exact date it was June 28 select that and this will be automatically applied to every new entry next up on this table there is a select property for the week of this plan so in this um, default template the weeks go from 1 to 12 but you can add your own or remove some of them based on your needs. There is a day select property as well to select the day of the week and after the day property there are formulas and the first four formulas here these are backend formulas that are only here to feed the final date return property which is what we are interested in. So these four formulas can be hidden as well. And you can hide properties on Notion by clicking on the name and selecting hide. For now, let's keep them on just for demonstration purposes. So there is a days into year property, which calculates how many days into the year the start date is. There is the week addition property that will assign a zero to week one, seven to week two, 14 to week three, and so on. Day plus week adds days into year to the week. And day addition is another formula that adds the day to the day plus week property. So these are not very relevant formulas for the final result. Uh, you might be interested in, in them if you want to understand how the system works. But the key aspect of this database is the date return formula. And this is the final date that is calculated on this template. And you can see that the first date, because it's a Monday, will correspond to the start date. And then the dates will be calculated automatically based on the week and day. Now let's create an example entry here on this database and let's see how the system works. All right, 
Let's click on new entry. We can give it a name. First day of the year and the start date have already been assigned. That's good. Let's choose a week. Let's say this is week two and it is Wednesday. Boom, there you go. Wednesday, week two, it will be July 7th, 2021. And if we go to the calendar view, we can see all the entries displayed here in cards that you can quickly access by clicking on them. And this is the autofill dates in Notion template. You can use this as it is, or you can just incorporate the calculation system into one of your existing templates that you are currently using um, to make the best of what you would like to achieve in Notion.